Okay. Um, so we're in sprint two, uh, which spans two weeks because we've got cord build that we decided to dedicate a week to. Uh, what I'll do normally in a situation like this is I'll keep the sprint running and then I'll close it out at the end of the cord build week uh, for those that are uh, still working through cord build. So for the most part, plan for two weeks unless you're not doing anything uh, or you're not participating in cord build and then you can assume three weeks and I'll close it out uh, on 11.9. Um, so let's get started in terms of AG and JIRA. Um, so we're in a satisfying cactus sprint too. We'll go over the kind of uh, general stories first. Uh, we will look at prepare for cord build, and that's essentially the highest priority since we've got two weeks to get to there, right? Uh, unless, of course, you're working on eCord, then it, there's Sorry. Time. Yeah. Can you make the screen a little bit bigger? The font's larger. Yeah. Right? Is that big enough yeah. or bigger? <laughs> Sorry, yeah. Bigger fonts are still are good enough. You can do a little bit more, even better. Okay. Okay, great, thanks. So let's get started. Um, Andy? All right, so all of these um, things here are the, the talks that people have signed up for in this uh, preparing for cord build document and the outlines and abstracts are also in there right now. Um, so I think all of these items are basically just people need to actually do the talks, put put the uh, slides together and, and uh, then get um, you know, practice the, the talks and get feedback. Um, the, the one that I am signed up for is a little bit different because that's the hands-on tutorial. Um, I was, I've been talking to a couple people about that, trying to get ideas, but I think this one is, is something that's still a little bit undefined in terms of exactly what we want to, to show there. Um, and is the estimate accurate? Is the estimate accurate? Right, because hands-on tutorial, which means you're going to have to prepare more than just those slides. You're going to have to prepare essentially kind of the step-by-step -step instructions for what they need to do. Um, is there going to be a VM that they're working with or are they downloading things? Um, so these are all good questions and I think they, the answers to those questions haven't been determined yet. Um, and so I so think three is a bit off. Bump up the estimate to, to five. I think that would be a reasonable thing to do. Yes. So if, if that turns out to primarily be the example service tutorial, uh, then we have a pretty good head start on that, fortunately. Um, if it turns out to be more or something different, then it, it seems like um, you may need lots of help from other people. Right, and I guess that is one of the questions that, that we have. So um, it sounds to me like Guru would really want to see something that is a little bit more targeted towards people that show up with a VNF already that say runs in a VM and exports some API, REST API, and how do they then create a service around that VNF? So that's different scope than our example service tutorial in some ways. Um, but this is something I guess maybe maybe we need to talk a little bit more about. Yeah. So by the way, should I put also the, I don't see my, talk so should I should I put my talk inside oh yeah sorry sorry what, what what's the epic prepare for yes. cord build yeah okay cord build okay I'll just add it um, Yen can you refresh I've added mine and Mark's too 
Uh, I didn't put them on the prepare for court bill, I put them on the e-court, but the idea is that, yeah. Yeah, so let's try to consolidate them and uh, this way, to me, this is kind of the priority in the sprint, right? I understand e-court and cords have their priorities too, but uh, we've got oh, yeah. two weeks to wrap this thing up. Yeah, e <laughs> I guess we all agree <laughs> that the first priority is e -court that needs to work, right? Well, of course, we have to do something. End of the month, yes, I, I completely agree. But that's like some of the folks. So. Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, um, anything else so we're missing? E -cord, uh, just a question. E cord, we're done with as of Monday, no matter what, because that's our deadline and that gives us a whole week to prepare these talks. Uh, is that's there... a question for the e cord guys, I think. Uh, so, Scott, in theory, uh, I say yes, but in practice, uh, you have to bear in mind that we will hand over this work to the work we've done to China Mobile, and then we will have to support them. So, if anything arises from their side, we will need to put in some work. So, okay, that's so something that is not really uh, put. You cannot put it in the scope of a sprint, in my opinion, because it's just something that we cannot like anticipate. So, I don't know, it might be a ton, it might be nothing. I hope it's nothing. <laughs> I was just trying to reason out whether I should uh, really try to jam in some of this talk work this week or count on next week. It sounds like I should try to get done what I can this week because uh, there's no guarantee uh, that next week's going to be free. Yeah, I would say so. Paralyzation, uh, it's, uh, it's what I would go for. Okay, and then Luca and Andrea, I don't see the new ones. I refreshed. Refresh, refresh, yeah. You should see that. Double checking. Okay, this is Lucas. Mm -hmm. And I still don't see Andrea's. Um, yeah, I'll. I'll make sure and then we can come maybe come back to them later. Okay. And then this is the cord sprint planning session, not on us. So sometimes it's confusing. Okay. So um any other questions or comments for this set of stories? If not, we can move on. And I assume part of this is uh, allocate time to review other people's slides, right? Usually there's a, a, a set of slides that everyone then sends out, everyone needs to review. So just keep in mind that and allocate some time for it is the only comment. And uh, travel for what build. Okay. <clears throat> And then we'll move on to the other stories. That is a bunch of, okay, we'll go over the, these ones, the really strangely random ones. Zach. So these are pretty minor. Um, I I, th I think I'll get to both of these. Um, the the 2017 one is is going to be a little tricky because um, we've realized w w we were reusing some variable names. So I think um, I think we'll be able to get that get that worked out. It's mainly making the change and then testing to make sure I didn't break anything. So. Okay. Another um, one uh, the. That one, I think I already did, or I'm in progress of doing. So I think I might be, maybe just need to update Jira. Okay. Uh, it's currently unassigned, by the way. I, I might have included a fix for it in a different patch. So I'll assign it to myself and, and resolve. Okay. Move on to the next one. These are fun. They're all over uh, deployments and build automation, which should be Luca. 
Uh, yeah, as we say, oh, I missed one, sorry. Can you go in the backlog also? Well, I mean, can you scroll down? Maybe I just forgot to drag. Yeah, there's also that one. Slightly different. One is the platform, one is e -core, which means you're installing the platform. So you, you can just drag it up. Please. Yeah, we'll do it this way. I find the dragging is uh, tough to do. And it's not really me. I mean, uh, I don't know how to say it, right? And maybe it's way more than three story points. It's like the entire eCore team and everyone that is trying is in is in this effort. So I, I don't know. I, I just put it there to to allocate some some time. But anyway, the other story is, is five points. Um, so that's time for like, five. Whatever. Yeah. I, I mean, <laughs> uh, whatever. I, I I really don't know. Right, because we don't have visibility in this in this thing till we don't really deploy it. So, but you know, these are the typical things that are endless. So, well, we hope not. It needs to happen in two weeks. So, anyway, um, deploy core. The uh, the second one is the one that is happening. So, will happen first, uh, which is basically the platform in China Mobile that needs to be deployed. We are almost there. Uh, some things are missed. And then once that's complete, um, they'll deploy more and more and more till e -cord, hopefully by the end of the week, is ready and can be deployed. And so basically we'll start again to redeploy the entire core platform, but again with e -cord. At this time with e -cord. And then um, I have some minor modifications that still open from the last sprint to do in entity communication. The deployment works, um, except few minor details. I just want to leave it there, but it's almost complete. Okay. And then we'll go to this. Zach? This happened. The, the 2127, um, that's an issue where we reused uh, the head node variable in multiple places. Um, uh, I have a patch in flight for that. That's needed for e -cord, Um So it's pretty high priority. OK. Can, can, can we not make everything medium priority then? Just a comment. Let's make use of the priority. <laughs> Okay. Okay. okay, sorry, Stefan. That's fine. Uh, 2101 is almost done. I've got a patch in flight that I'm testing right now. So um, should get done pretty quickly. Okay. And there, there was one story that I saw, if I were to get rid of this, that Stack you have, and it has no uh, epic. So, um, I'm I'm dealing with that at the same time as the other head node twenty one twenty seven. Um, the patch does both of those, so I'll um, I'll put that under where it needs to be. Okay, thank you. And now we shall move to I guess fabric. Charles. Yeah, so, sorry, Yan. Sorry, Charles. By the way, I forgot one story. Just so, well, uh, just so, so the others know in deployment, um, we have also to deploy uh, the QCT, which is a QCT by Onos build. It's a lower priority for me compared to e -cord and Cord, but still, it's something that needs to uh, to happen, right? So I, I just dragged these two story point things in, in the deployment, the epic. If you refresh, you'll see. Sorry about that. Okay. It's a one day job, probably. I don't know if two story points met. met <laughs> yeah, and two is about there. Yeah. Three is like multi day and five is a week. Okay. Um, 
tiles. So, uh, for for the fabric features, uh, the first one is actually a leftover from the last frame. Um, that's already under review. Um, it's about the dynamic config support for interfaces. And um, we also add the uh, dynamic config support for switches to the sprint. Um, this, this third one and fourth one are also uh, just continue from, from the previous uh, sprint that um, Simon is working on, which is related to um, this decoupling AAA from OLT and, and also trying to block and perform programmatically. Um, regarding dual homing, there are several issues. So Charles, just a quick comment. Eight is a whole sprint. So you're expecting to work on this for the full sprint? Yeah, I should probably change that. Um, let's see. Actually, we should be able to support that right now. Um, let me try this. Together. So, so um, what we're trying to do here is that there are actually two, two things we were thinking about. The first one is that the ability to um, add a new switch at runtime, which should be pretty easy compared to you know changing the configuration of existing switches. So um, actually, what we are trying to do in this sprint is only the first part, which is you know the ability to to add switches. Um, so that should be like pretty easy, I would say probably three. And I will create another story for the second part. Okay. Um, so I just changed the uh, story point of this one to three. Um, also, yeah, that's it from uh, about this uh, fabric feature. And then can you update the description? Description. Uh, yeah, do you want me to do it right now or maybe after this meeting? After is fine. Okay. <clears throat> we'll do. Um, yeah, that's it. Uh, so, dual homing, there are uh, several issues we discovered. Um, so, uh, the first one is the um, sometimes the uh, the second location of the dual home house is discovered a little bit later. Um, we want to address that by uh, implementing a uh, proactive problem mechanism. Uh, the second one um, is the one that we suspect it has something to do with the switch software. We're working with Broadcom to figure that out. That's, that's it. I do have a question. You've got points for like two weeks worth of stuff. Um, are you and Sarah participating in Cord Build? Participating in Cord Build, yes. In, in, well, in various way. Um, so Sarah has a talk and I have a hands-on tutorial and also we are helping Edge Core to build a demonstration uh, in court view so that will probably also take us some time. So are you over provisioned for this sprint? Um, maybe I'm always over provisioned so. <laughs> which, which means probably reducing stories. But um, I think you need to add some stories to prepare for a cord build. Okay. Reflect the stuff that you and Saraf need to do. Uh -huh. um, I think that uh, Saraf also asked Carmelo to do a talk on P4 in the fabric. Uh, so we'll need a story for that. Um, let me just take a note. I I'll create the, the story later. Um, And then I'll ping Carmelo to add a story over here. Okay. Um, let's see. And then we're well, I think it's still possible to finish the story. We're just trying our best, Will, but it's still not, you know, pretty far away. It's still possible. So I'm still keeping those stories in the um, in the sprint. I mean, the one story I have the question on is what is it? Um, I can't find it right now. The one about the AAA split. I think yeah, um, there I needs to. I just about, um, yeah. Google Doc, but I haven't. Uh, I'll, I'll try to take a look. Yeah, I think yeah. I'm not sure this works. The problem is if you change this in this current sprint in the master branch, that affects a lot of other things that aren't ready to be changed. So I, yeah, we'll have to. 
figure out how to schedule that and make what's yeah, going on. Yeah, sure. There. All right. Um, I'm not seeing the screen anymore. Oops. Huh? Okay. No, it's uh, probably a problem on our side. Um, okay. Okay, because uh, David, I saw you add a comment to this race. I'm not completely sure we're ready to move forward on this. Uh, right, so just what you've noted. Okay, um, let me first try to go through David's comment in the Google Doc, and um, we'll try to figure out how to, to make this work. Okay. And I think we're done with the dual homing DHCP relay. Charles, there's more with your name on it. Yeah, <laughs> it's more like code review stuff. It's not really uh, a real, you know, writing code. It's just reviewing code from from other um, collaborators. So. Then please change priorities. Everything can't be medium. Um, okay. Um, so, is, is this work going to, so that we right now there are two apps, there's a DCP relay and a DCP L2 relay. Um, it's going to, to DCP relay, not, not the L2 one, the L3, it, it, it's the L3 one. Okay. Um, so yeah, the, the first one is the, um, the ability to handle least query, which is implemented by, by, um, Harmonic, and I just have to take a look and, and make sure. Um, just just code review for them, and then the second one. Um, they also send the patch. Just yeah, they also send a patch for for these. So so I have to review this, um, and then um, for the so uh, the third one to uh, twenty sixty five. Uh, this is an issue that we believe. Um, to be fixed in, uh, it's already, we believe it's already fixed in another story. I'm just waiting for the confirmation from, from the people who originally uh, reported this issue and, and verify if that's resolved or, or not. Okay, 2097. Yeah, that's, that's 2097 and, and that should be, 2097 is already fixed. Um, I just want to make sure that, you know, um, 2065 is also fixed. Um, at least they should be related according to to uh, Nokia. So anyway, and um, yeah, 1616 is about uh, the support of prefix delegation by the CPU relay app. This is also something driven by by Nokia, and I'm just you know helping them on the side and like. Doing design review and code review stuff. Um, e, would you want to update the rest of? Yeah, so I have three stories. Uh, first story is uh, handling the DHCP release figure uh, in DHCP v4 handler. And the uh, second one is the, uh, I think this is submitted by Harmonic, right? The, the attack. Um, uh, yeah, that's yeah, the so, reported by Harmonic. Yeah, so they want to prevent some. Uh, due to the attack that was supported on DHCP relay. And uh, the last one is support the timeout mechanism because the DHCP method might provide a timeout of uh, IP. So I need to also handle this one. Uh, yeah, so I think that's it. Okay. Uh, no multicast. I don't. I don't put any story in multicast for this frame because I know I know Nokia is working on it, but um, I'm not sure how how much resource they are they prepared to commit to the um, stories over here in this sprint. So that's why I I didn't pull them into the sprint. But um, if you look at the backlog, there are actually two remaining stories. Um, those two are. Um, currently addressed by, by Nokia. Okay. 
Let's move on to QA then. Okay, the first two stories are about creating new Jenkins jobs and validating the containers and the basic checks for the equal global and uh, local profiles. And 2030, 2130 is about uh, parameterizing some of the options in the Jenkins job that we have currently uh, running them on the physical pod. We have some sanity tests that are running on the pod using some jobs. So we are planning to optimize it and the way we run using some options. Uh, there are two enhancements to be done. So that is about that. And the next two are 1817 and 1818 are about the CNR's work. Looks like 1817 is already done. Um, Karthik just updated me about it. And 1818 will be done in this uh, sprint. In 1962, which is in 1960s, both are related to MCOD. Uh, these have been carried from the previous print, which we were not able to complete due to some um, um, blockers from MCOD that we wanted to do. So probably uh, this week and next week we will hopefully be able to unblock them and then uh, complete the jobs. And I think we have to also add some miscellaneous stories about this, but still waiting on few items. Uh, one would be about the MCOT test tools that we are going to investigate this week. And also uh, another work could be about working with uh, Flex and the uh, finance groups uh, to have it a few scenarios demo for the quad build. So hopefully when we get some clear idea, I will add them accordingly in a day or two. So that's all for q &A. Okay, thanks, Ajitra. I think that was all in terms of epics. And then we'll move on to the major ones. I think, by the way, the BWF, we can close it because it's happening. So. OK, I'll do that. Um, I do have a question. I added one. Um, one task to the containers uh, sprint. Uh, yes, and we'll get to that soon. So, um, eCord migration. Yeah, let me cover that. So, uh, as you all probably know, we have the China Mobile deployment coming up uh, October the 30th. We have to give them a tar.gc with kind of everything uh of e cord ported on four one so every story you see here is kind of going in that direction uh we have um, the e cord guide which uh, luca is taking care of and we are helping him on that side uh we have uh, my, i have myself some automation some testing that has to be done i also included a uh, three points a story for something that uh, I have no idea that can come. It's just called bug fixes for release because I want to plan some time to allocate some time that I for bugs that I know will come up. Uh, Zach and Scott also helping on, on this side. And uh, there's also some stories for Mark in uh, automation configuration. And then uh, Max has uh, create UI for delay and jitter. And um, also, there's there's some work that uh, we are all sharing. That's basically testing uh, the pod, uh, the virtual configurations, and and all of it, but which is kind of difficult to scope in uh, in Jira. So this is these are all the tasks, and uh, this basically covers until end of this week. Uh, and then the first week of uh, November, um, I did, we basically did not scope anything after that. Since we will be involved in core build uh, for the eCore track, and on myself also for helping William and David. Okay. Thanks, Andrea. Uh, MCORD migration? <laughs> okay, I can cover for the documentation, but I, honestly, I left it there. But I, at least, 
At least for me, it's very low priority for this print. Okay. I mean, I'll keep an eye on it, but uh, uh, I, I wouldn't really expect that MCOR guys clarify more <laughs> what to do and, and what the documentation and as Pimping already did. Um, and then this this sprint maybe I'll focus more on ECOR than from next sprint I'll focus more on MCOR because the ECOR documentation needs to be really ready by this sprint. So, but I, I don't even know anyway what to write for MCOR than now, uh, yeah, right? So yeah, okay. Yeah. Um, Do the first round. I'll keep an eye on the documentation. Yeah. I'll try to modify it here and there. Yeah, I'm here. Um, so for me in this sprint, so um, for the for 2144, we need to be able to talk to a license server from a VM inside the the pod to run the um, the Spirant software uh, in MCord. And so I think what we've agreed with them. Um, is that they would bring up their license server on Amazon and we would just connect to it. So hopefully that'll work. Um, so I'm gonna gonna take that on. Um, is, um, so for MCord, I guess there's based on which vendors contribute the pieces that they're working on to to uh, MCord. There's different profiles that that we would need to run because the not only are the services uh, running different images, but also there's different numbers of VMs and they're connected together in different ways. So, um, I think it's it's become clearer in the last hour or so which uh, direction we'll be going. So maybe this is a little bit lower priority, creating the other flavors. Um, but so maybe I'll circle around and, and edit that task a little bit to reflect what I think is our current understanding. Um, but there does still need to be a new flavor or a new profile, some changes to the profile made uh, to accommodate this pirate stuff. Um, and then 2133 is we need some way of making sure that um, as we integrate pieces into MCORD, that um, things are actually working as expected. Um, so I think I need to get together with the QA team to figure out what tests they're building that might be relevant to, to MCORD. But right now, this is referring to some simple cord in a box testing, just making sure that VMs come up, that they're connected to networks, that you know we can log into them. Um, so continuing to build that out as we incorporate more of the, the images um, and playbooks into MCORD. So Andy, um, for this, the ECORD guys uh, sent uh, to QA a list, uh, a list of container set list that should be there. Can you, for, can you guys forward it as well? Yeah. When you build the physical pod, tell us yeah. what yeah. you expect to see there. 
yeah. at least. Yeah, what I did was basically sending over the containers that needs to be there, but also the ONOS applications that need yeah. to be there, and also the request for checking that in every synchronizer in uh, in the services that I'm asking to be there, there is no error. And the Scott provided some some guidance also on how to do that. I can share the document with you guys if you're interested. Just drop me an email and I will do that. Yeah, just a, the, the list of container names on those apps. Uh, yeah, yeah. I I wrote down the Nova I know, but today I can do you all because before today I don't know the grant side. I know everything. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly, because uh, I mean. No, right I, now since we can because Andy is building the um, code code here, right? So we can at least start just. Yeah. The they have also physical as well here. Yeah. Physical is yeah. fine now. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, so teach, uh, um, Zach here. Um, yeah. For the um, for doing that sort of testing and looking at the logs, we already have a, a collect diags make file target that will generate a bunch of the log messages and things like the list of Onos apps, and we'll do all the data collection you need to do, and then all it would be would re be retrieving that and then parsing it. Um, okay. So it's it's enough if uh, we can do a, use that that target. Well, by the way, if you can slack it to us or send a, an email. I'll send an email. I'll follow up on on um, on Andrea's email um, with that. That's that. Elasticsack. Okay. Is that Elasticsack? Uh no, it is. It's uh, just a script that runs and goes out and collects everything into into a diag diagnostic directory. So if that file is parsed, then let's say we parse either grep for errors or exception, and there's nothing, we call it enough for now, at least as a first step. I would, um, and also on the container list, it might be good to test the negative, that there aren't containers present that shouldn't be. Um, but but we can, um, okay. I, I don't think, I think this is going to be a, I, I think we're, we're probably more than halfway there with using that piece. Okay. okay. So we'll follow it up later. Thanks. Okay. So I can hear you the report. Uh, my task for this screen is to uh, the first one is the second one, second line, to connect the UV service to the service block and create the yeah, connect the service with the uh, network. The the twenty one forty three, then one is to uh, run out we already know what uh, the images we need, so we need to create all the images and uh, choose integrate into anchor. Some of them is uh, done, and we see we finish this, this task. And the third time, we will have us to create those images, and uh, our side will be specifically focused on integrating. The second and fourth one is to, is, uh, um, there for the Intel EPC, we have now the so far they didn't have a map in the virtual package base plan. So uh right now it works with the VPN and have some problem there. We need to find a solution to solve it to let the VPN to transfer the packet between the virtual package database, user plan and the internet user. And then the last one is continue the text into the channel mobile in order to use the IRT. So the next three is for the uh run and we and the application server. I assign them to Jian Hao and his team in Taiwan. So this is all for Uncle. Okay, thanks, Ping Ping. Um, I can go next. I have a couple of tasks in the MCOR okay. migration as well. <laughs> That's fine. So uh, two, two tasks, um, moving the EPC service from uh, 3.0 to Core 4.1. We've been talking about this a bit. I think we're in broad agreement about how to implement this in general, but there are a few uh, decision points, so I'm going to put together a document and pass that around. Um, and then there's uh, um, defining dependencies between the MCORD services so that they come up uh, in the right order. Uh, all the synchronous, they, they get the 
service instance models get synchronized in the right order. Um, so those are, the, those are the two tasks I have. Okay, thanks. I just changed it to 4.0 because technically we're moving it to code 4.0 and we're in the process of uh, releasing 4.1, right? Right. Okay, test framework. Zach? So I uh, was looking at Sonar Cube, and uh, there's apparently been some bit rot since uh, 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 since Luca originally set it up, so um, I might have to ask him some questions about how, uh, especially the database was set up for that. Um, but uh, that's that's on the back burner um, behind the eCord stuff. Um, but I'll try and uh, handle that later this sprint. By the way, I see it down. Yeah, it's uh, I I I went to it and I noticed it was down and tried to get in and. Uh, it was having database errors, so um, not a high priority. But we'll um, uh, we'll look at it when our eCord stuff doesn't uh, eat the rest of our time. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I think we should postpone it, even because uh, Matteo was was working on that lately. So I want to make sure we think we get in sync with him before touching anything. I'm not sure if he just tried to modify something and then he left it there, which is not cool. But at least we know what happened because. It's a long time I don't touch it, so. So the other two items on this are mine. Uh, the first one has to do with uh, restructuring the tests so that uh, we have some kind of a single command that can run all unit tests. Uh, we think there's a package called nose test that will help out with that. Uh, so this test starts by evaluating nose test and seeing if it's appropriate um, if it's not appropriate we'll have to find something else or or roll our own for that task uh, the second part is auto generating uh, model policy test framework so we can write um, tests for the model policies um, I think we've already talked about that in in both of these items were set up for this sprint but we didn't uh, get to them so I think we've already discussed some of the details about this but we need that test framework in place to really uh, be able to go to town writing uh, model policy unit tests. Okay, thanks, Scott. Containers? Uh, there is one task that is actively being worked on uh, by Linker Network. Uh, I'm working with them to create a, a central OLA network uh, based on OBS that will serve as a framework for um, uh, that will serve as a framework for integrating on with Kubernetes. Um, most of the work is being done by uh, Linker Network with me providing support. Okay. Mm, second. I was refreshing it because it wasn't the story I was expecting. I refreshed it because uh, the screen wasn't showing the story. Yeah, yeah, I don't know what it is. Um, so, uh, uh, orchestration, I can also give a little bit of an update. Uh, there are um, two tasks in this, both of them presently mine. Um, Murat is, uh, is leading the orchestration brigade, and we chose uh, about four tasks um, to work on between ourselves. Uh, in the Friday meeting, uh, I'm working on um, part 2157, uh, where we investigate the interface that uh, the SDN controller has in your own app and uh, implement um, a use case for v fire uh, on own app uh, with Kubernetes. Um, Murat also has a couple of other uh, tasks assigned to himself um, and one other person. Uh, I've emailed him to uh, update the uh, uh, update uh, the uh, print, print list. Um, you should be able to do that either today or tomorrow. Okay. I think that's it. We said performance was uh, not going to participate in the sprint. Anything else we're missing? If not, I think we're done with planning. 
Okay, so some open things, Charles. I think there were some uh, planning for cord build stuff that you were going to add. Yeah, I already had it actually. Just submit. So people. everybody should ask. I ended up talking to the I ended up talking here. Yeah, under okay. cord build. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, I will end because I will uh, say uh, two five minutes right before MCO release, right before any talk. The five minutes talk. I will end this two yeah. after that. Okay. Thank you, Ping Ping. And are we missing anyone else? Okay. I think we're done. I'll stop the recording. Uh, thanks, everyone. And I will start the sprint uh, end of the day. So if you guys are missing any other stories, please add them. Okay. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye, all.